A few days ago, I moved out, so MTV, welcome to my crib. My name is Quinton Harry Hyde, and I'm gonna be showing you my new house. As part of this super cool community, I want you to know what this house looks like. Behind me is the front door that leads directly into the hallway. On your left, we have this beautiful coat rack made out of... And this is also the place that leads into every other place in the house. One of which being the kitchen. The kitchen, while being a little bit messy, has everything that you need. Varying from gas pits to very various kitchen appliances that I can use to cook my amazing home-cooked meals. And speaking of amazing home-cooked meals, here in my delightful freezer, I currently got enough burrito mix to feed a small school. Because I'm just now learning to cook and I don't know how to dose things. Near the beginning of the kitchen, there's a cabinet with all sorts of foods and ingredients that I can use to feed myself and survive. And at the end of the kitchen, there is a beautiful set of incredibly sharp knives that actually made the news one day when they were distributed across the Netherlands because so many people cut their fingers open. Just a little uh, nice background story for you. <laughs> then we get into the film studio. It's currently incredibly echoey because it's empty. But the room is white and the windows are diffused by this gigantic white sheet. Whenever I need to build a certain set or need a specific backdrop, this is the place where it's gonna be built and it's currently storing some boxes with some delightful technical equipment. Then there is the bathroom. Some people would call it small, some people would call it cozy, and I call it wet because I didn't dry the floor after showering. It has everything I need to be a fresh boy and I should probably use it sometime. <laughs> And then last but not least, the least echoing place in the entire house, the living room. While a bit messy, this classic living room sports the most fabulous of decorations, varying from fake plants because I would kill real ones, to a dinner table I'm really only gonna be using when I have guests over, to a wall piece about the world that everyone seems to love that comes in here and also misses a couple of countries. UK and New Zealand, you do not exist. It has a fine, robust couch and a large desk I can use to put a whole bunch of random items on. A television that I I don't know how to use yet and an Amazon Alexa that no cancel stop and not to mention that one cat that always stares at me from the other side of the road now without kidding and without my super dramatic not at all MTV crib resembling trailer thing that I just did this place is actually awesome peeping cat is still looking at me like I said, right here is the hallway. In here, I actually have like a closet with some extra stuff. The toilet is a separate one. And in, in case you remember um, my video about what happened in Argentinian hotel, we got a special custom toilet that cannot be clogged. <laughs> Or at least, well, I mean, I could manage, probably, but... We've got this super cool balcony, and it has, like, a thing above it, so you can actually get wet when it's raining. And I just think, overall, it's just... There's great view, and I, I bet this is really cool to sit in summer if you don't have allergies. But I do, so I'm probably gonna sit there uh, at winter. The studio is super bright because it gets all the sun, which is why I, 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 I'm so glad that the studio is here. And I basically, I want to get, like, a, my green screen and different kinds of colored screens up here, and I bet that would look super cool. Honestly, I would love for, like, some talky bits where I'm not like moving around to have like some sort of central background that just looks awesome with like different kind of things I have like a light box and I don't know if you have some cool ideas for that because I don't I don't take decoration like advice because I have like a very peculiar taste but when it comes to set building maybe you have like a very peculiar set building taste like I said in the trailer thing there's still a lot of stuff there that I have to clean up I'm probably gonna do that after I graduate which is gonna be in a few weeks and I fit like mentally I just don't even know how to handle that. I've got a second-hand TV, but I'm not sure if it works so well because I don't know how it works But um, we're having some problem with our uh, internet provider too who is also providing to TV So back into a 30-minute call with them, I guess <laughs> The couch is like really comfortable and this thing right here. It was actually super cheap. Well mm, Relatively cheap but taking it home like the whole package from the store at the time because I've had this for months already was dramatic <laughs> But now that it's just hanging there. I love the way it looks got my desk currently working on my project So I have like a whole bunch of extra are like little thingies around that I use and tissues because I have like a runny nose all the time and that thing on the wall I install today in case I want to live stream on Instagram I can just go and floor my pop socket into there and I can just sit on my chair and live stream on Instagram without having to have this awkward downwards angle <laughs> also I got this dinner table I'm probably never gonna actually eat dinner by that like on there by myself because I like to eat it behind the computer if I can possibly look at some videos or something and I just like to just eat in silence by myself doesn't seem so great but it's great for when my girlfriend comes over or like the super rare occasion and I'm like you know what I'll just like accept some guests into my home I guess overall the place is super light it's at a pretty 
really sweet location and I'm just overall incredibly stoked. This is also gonna be the place that you're gonna be seeing from now on in most of the videos. You better soak it up. <laughs> but no, honestly, I'm really curious what you think. Now, if you're curious about what I mentioned about what happened with the toilet when I was in Argentina, you can click right here to see that video or the link in the description. Pretty good story, if I may say so myself. Now, I post the video every Moafi, which is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I add a little bit of a live stream on Sunday. I do all of that because I want to create a nice community together with you and just basically have like fun and positive feelings together. But above all, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to see you next time.